Prince Edaman has returned to Meridian. I fear what Sunfall may do to
figure of... Must have been a... Back again, Enjok. You've picked up my interest in the beasts of the old world, I see. There you go, Enjok. That should be the last of the figurines. I didn't know if I'd ever see the whole collection reunited. <laughs> and look at them. They're... beautiful. You've done a great thing, Aloy. These may represent the last record that any of these beasts ever lived. Take this. It's the least I can do. And come back any time. I and our animal friends await your return. That's all I need to know. Are you sure? You can never learn too much. Ursus Americanus. The magnificent American black bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. How would you like to find yourself cornered by that thing? I suspect I'd like it very much indeed. What a beautiful beast you were. Cougar. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. This coat is sand colored. Could it have been a burrowing animal? Perhaps those teeth were only used for digging. Bison, bison, bison. That's the actual Latin name of the regal American bison. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Latin? Perhaps that's some sort of old world custom in which one repeats the name of a particularly revered animal. Ursus Arctos. The menacing grizzly bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Those claws look like they could rip someone in half. Perhaps in its youth, but you heard Montana Recreations. He said it's grizzled, old. Its hunting days are behind it. Odocolius Virginianus, the majestic mule deer. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Not built like a predator, but perhaps it needed those horns to take down its prey in the absence of sharp fangs.
Tyrannus Lupus, the enigmatic Grey Wolf. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Could it be that these wolves and our foxes are the same somehow? Hundreds of winters. No. No, that's ridiculous. Alsus, Alsus. The Noble Moose. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. The horns grow like trees. Of course, this moose used those bizarre growths to blend in with its forest home.
The best hunters are the ones who come back. The Chieftain's Trial is a challenge that will push even the mightiest hunter to their limits. Only the largest, most dangerous machines will be loosed into the arenas. Learn their weaknesses quickly, and do what you can to exploit them. To best them and survive, that is an ordeal worthy of a Chieftain. Use the rope to get to the arena, and we'll start. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent.
forget what warmth feels like out here. Your first run on that trial and you claimed second place. I haven't seen many pull that off. I'm done with training right now. Then training's done with you.
Should have brought a cart. the weight. Cooley will want this. It's beautiful, Sakuli. It is. But you could see a hundred like it in Banur. The sacred patterns that describe the world. Machine song, the blue light, the way of the Banuk. Blah, blah, blah. Where we take it next, that's where it comes alive. These are perfect, and like all perfect things, they must be watered down or ground into a paste. Way of the world. That's me. Maybe it's a machine rider who looks like you. <laughs> Where is she going? You tell me. To ruins or mountains, through flood or thaw, past, future, destiny. But I don't think she's scared of any of it. You help me. 
inspired me. And the people of the Cut, let this be inspiration for you, wherever you may run. When the old one. I saw the outland people talking to Sakani. We also remember the ravenous tribe mm -hmm. who delighted in sucking the marrow. I heard it was in its fist that split the car. Records at the hunting grounds, I hear. You provide our.
anything in this. Outlander, it would be my honor to speak with you. I've heard of you, Antress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You... Want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banu hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the Claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the Claws, than to die while it still makes children orphans. This machine, the Claws Beneath, why travel all the way to the Cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the Claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years, the Claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt... I had hoped to complete it in his honor. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands, noticed for the first time the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This is obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnak. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the claws beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well.
I'll give this to the Osmond. Whatever they do... They You're can. Aloy, right? My pop... Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja. Pleasure. Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glentalk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaram bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. So, let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie, she's beautiful. But there's beautiful and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You wanna take a look? Uh, are you serious? Yes, yes, I love that. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... <sighs> right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at... Let's be generous. Half her potential. What's with the she's? <laughs> oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Um, well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. This forge... Like I said. So we need parts from a Stormbird and a Thunderjaw? And you know where to find them. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling, though. We can find a Thunderjaw out in the valley meet, and a Stormbird roost near the Free Heap. I'll pack and meet you out there. This'll be fun. Okay. Even if I cared to travel south, I'd not get much further. Find anything interesting lately? I might have. Let's talk. If I find anything, I you better. You just survive. The Osaram, with their ridiculous ideas about women. How many great warriors have they ignored? You've chosen a dangerous land to visit, how about that? But I admire your courage. The songs of more just...